to ashes, we all fall down. Let's do something about that. Okay, so to upgrade these joysticks, we're going to replace the gate, the square gate, with an octagonal gate. We're going to replace the spring with a two-pound spring. That's inside here. I'll show you in a minute. And we're going to replace these uh, switches with cherry switches. And it's going to come out real, real nice. So the first thing we're going to do, you don't have to take the joystick off. Um, <clears throat> Now the problem with the switches, I'll just talk about this for a moment um, and you'll see when we get to it, is that the wires are soldered on, but that's okay. You don't even have to desolder them if you, if you don't want to. I'm just going to actually cut the wires and um, put on uh, quick, quick connects. So first let's take off this square gate. pretty easy to do. There's just these little tabs. Four little tabs that hold it. You just squeeze them, pull it off. There you go. We're going to be putting on this octagonal gate, but not yet because we, st we still have other stuff to do. So next thing we have to do is remove this C-clip. Some people call them C-clips. Some people call them E-clips. Um, do know that the joystick will fall out of the bottom here um, as soon as this clip is removed. Now I just get a little screwdriver like this one. Kind of get it under there. And you want to keep your finger, like your index finger or something in front of it. Because if not, it will probably go flying and then you may not find it. So you definitely want to keep it from going flying. So there we go. Now you can see where the spring is, right there, and you'll see what I mean about the joystick will just drop out of the bottom there. So we're going to replace this spring. We're going to do switches first. Now obviously you don't have to do the switches if you don't want to, but uh, I really like cherry switches. They're more reliable. so. I'm just going to cut these wires as close as possible because I don't want to really take off much of the slack. And I'm just going to do these one at a time, that way I put them back on in the right order. You can also, if you take all of them off and then you're like, oh no, um, you can look at the other ones, They're all they all have the same color coded wires. So it's green on bottom, then black, then red, then yellow going clockwise. So listen to that loud clicky mess. Um, okay, so that switch is gone. I'm going to... You don't have to take much of this wire off. So, real simple. With, with this crimper, you don't have to use a crimper if you don't have one, of course. But, um... Like I said, you can solder it if you want to the new switch. Or you can just use pliers, or you can even use these, the plier ends of these, to crimp this. Just make sure you get a really good crimp. Put this in through the bottom, just like that. Kind of get it started until it clicks. Put your wire through. You want to get the insulation in just a little bit. And crimp down. Let's see, so your insulation should go up to about there. So now the switch is just going to go on. Here's a cherry switch. Uh, so you want normally open. Get it? Yeah, I might actually take this off because this is just a wire 
It's like a little wire holder. So we'll just snap that off, no big deal. And then just like that. And yeah, that'll stay on from the, um, when we put the, the gate back on or the new gate on, that'll hold it. So, cause these are just, just kind of sitting in there anyway. I didn't like unscrew anything or anything like that. But. Okay. So I'm going to do the other three and then I'll be right back. Okay, so all four switches are switched. And let me get this wire out of the way here. So we took this spring out. This is like a one pound spring that came stock with the arcade one up stick. And this is a two pound spring that I got from Paradise Arcade Shop. So this piece down in here, let me see if I can get it out real quick. Make sure, like, if if you take this piece out or if it comes out, make sure you put it with this side up, because, and and try not to drop it and lose it, because the spring sits down in here, like that. So we'll just go ahead and put those in. We'll put this actuator back on the top. Actually, it might be easier to do it this way. Okay, good. Now we're gonna push this piece down. Push this under. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold this down. Get that started and then just get something to kind of help me <sighs> pop that back on so there we go and then this octagonal gate goes on the same way as the square gate did now the easiest way to do that is to keep it straight and level line it up with the tabs and then push the tabs in maybe two at a time like this so I got my the two on my right started already and then okay got it all right so let's compare so this one you know is still stock This one has two two pound spring cherry switches and an octagonal gate. So let's put it back together or put the control panel back on real quick. If you're wondering what these wires are, check out my other video about wiring up the light up marquee to the stock switch. this ribbon back on I can already tell a big difference in sound levels this is definitely a lot firmer too than that one so let's start with Mike. Bring that statue back, you bloated beanbag. Okay. All right. 
This definitely feels more, uh, more like the arcades to me. Do some gameplay on each one. Now, of course, you could just replace your joysticks with like legitimate sandwas instead of basically converting them to sandwas. But for one thing, sandwas actually only come with uh, 0 0.9 pound springs, so you're still not going to get. You're still probably going to want to replace those springs because they're they're just not good. And um, for another thing, sandwalls don't even come with cherry switches. I'm, I'm sure they come with decent ones, but they don't come with cherry, I can tell you that. Um, and, and cherry is definitely the best, at least in my opinion. I like the DX44. Some people like the DX, or the D, uh, D, D44X. Some people like the D42X because it has a little bit of a lighter trigger, but, um, yeah, so, that's all we've got for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for your support, and thanks for watching, please subscribe if you're not already, drop me a like, and leave a comment letting me know what you think, so, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.